In this video, I'm gonna show you 5 steps on how to fix the Fortnite voice chat not working. And let's start. The first step is to open Fortnite, open the Fortnite settings and go to combat controls. So it's with the joystick or the controller logo. Now what you want to do is change the controller configurations. So just set it to Builder Pro or Custom. Click on Apply restart fortnite and open it again and once you open it go back to combat controls and set it back to combat pro once you do this what you want to do is click on apply and your voice chat should be working i don't know why this works but it does the second step is to click on the search bar and type device manager and open it once you open it Click on the arrow next to sound, video and game controllers and uninstall Intel Display Audio and Realtek Audio. So just right click on them, click on uninstall device and click on uninstall. Do the same for Realtek, click on uninstall and click on uninstall again and after you do that restart your PC and this step works for me. The third step is to right click on the sound icon at the bottom right corner, click on sounds, go to the recording tab and disable any recording device that you, are, that you aren't using. And you can do that by right clicking on it and click on disable. And enable the device that you are currently using, so for me it's the microphone Realtek Audio and also you can set it as default. Once you do that, you can close sound and restart your PC. The fourth step is to click on the search bar and type run. Now type reg edit, so R E G E D I T. Click on OK. Click on yes. Now click on the arrow next to H key current user. Click on the arrow next to software and find Epic Games. Once you find it, what you want to do is right click on it and click on delete. Once you delete it, you can go back and close these folders and click on the arrow next to HK users. Click on the folder with the long string of numbers. So there are two as you can see. It's not this one, so it's the first one. Once you click on it, click on software, find the Epic Games folder again right click on it and click on delete once you delete the two folders what you want to do is close the registry editor now open this pc go to local disk c or the drive where you have fortnite installed click on users click on the user that you are currently using so for me it's pc click on file click on change folder and search options go to the view tab and click on show hidden files, folders and drives. Click on apply and click on ok. Now open the app data folder. Just remember that you won't be able to see this until you check the option to see hidden files and folders. Once you open the app data folder, go to local, find the Fortnite game folder, right click on it and click on delete. Once you delete it, Double click on Fortnite, launch the game and don't worry, this won't mess up your game, this won't uninstall Fortnite, this will just make Fortnite make new registry keys and also make a new folder. This won't take long and it should take about a couple of seconds. And the last step is to click on the search bar again, type Windows Update and click on check for updates. This should open up the Windows Update settings. As you can see there are a lot of updates that are waiting to be installed and you can just click on install now and the updates will be installed. Once you're done you can close the settings. And that's it for this video, thanks for watching, please subscribe and like if this video helped you and if it didn't then please comment down below and I'm gonna try and help you. Thanks for watching and bye.